welcome to the Flynn's Carlo TV review of the Nissan NV200. The Nissan NV200 traces its heritage back to the Nissan Vanek Cargo. However, the developments in the interim are absolutely huge and make this a superb van to drive. It's a 1.5 common rail diesel engine, but it delivers 85 brake horsepower. There's a payload of 780 kg, but that doesn't tell the whole story. The NV200 that I'm driving today has a number of features that I find are really useful, and they're useful on a daily basis and offer huge flexibility to a van driver. There's two sliding doors on the side, and while I would typically prefer to use curbside doors, in other words, on the passenger side, I find it's a huge advantage to have a door on the right-hand side as well, because it's right behind me. So, if I have a delivery on a day where it's in spill and rain, for instance, it's a surprisingly long way around and you're surprisingly wet by the time you get over to the left-hand side to open that door. So having that door on the right-hand side gives you great flexibility. Now, depending on your application, you might prefer to have one side of the van uh, shelved. And if that's the case, well then so be it. However, you do have that flexibility and it's entirely up to you to decide if it suits your application. There's a bulkhead in this particular one and that bulkhead is something that I really uh, prefer to have in a van. Number one, it cuts down on noise. But number two, it also means that if I haven't properly secured some of the cargo in the back, it maximizes the protection to me. Nissan have also optimized the use of uh, cargo space by having a nice low floor. So that means it's very comfortable to lift anything into or indeed out of. There's space in this particular van for two Euro pallets. So that means you can use the space Many vans have space that you just can't use. Maybe you have wheel arches that are too close together, things like that. The driving position itself also lends to easy view through the window that's in the bulkhead, so that if you do need to glance around, you're able to do so. So ultimately, inside in the car is where I feel the NV200 really wins out. It's a lovely high driving position, you have terrific view through all of the windows and you have two electric mirrors on this particular model. The electric mirrors are good and big and it means that if you need to have a better view into your blind spot you can do so and you can do that from your driver's seat. So if you're reversing around a curb or in a tight area inside uh, in a cargo loading area you have terrific all-round view as a result of having the electric window or electric mirrors you're not tempted to take a chance you have electric windows on it as well you have ABS as standard and really and truly where some of the secret of the vehicle is that you have terrific headroom you have a nice comfortable uh, seating position on many vans you find that if there is a bulkhead in it it compromises where you can sit or how you can sit so for me I have uh, a lovely comfortable driving position on the seat and I can do the same with the seat back. The bulkhead doesn't impinge on where my seat can be set. So that's a huge advantage to me. The uh, rear doors as well can be opened up to 180 degrees and that also means that you can reverse right up to a cargo area. So overall, one of the things that I would say synopsizes this van is that you have car-like comfort. You have car-like comfort when you're getting access into the vehicle, and you have car-like comfort when you're driving it. So the NV200 is a van I wouldn't mind having to drive every day. In fact, I find now I'm driving around in the country, I have a great view, so I'm able to see more than I would in a car. I also like being in a situation where I have the comforts of a CD player, which I have in the NV200, and I also have an MP3, MP3 jack, which allows me to connect my iPod directly into the, um, into the radio. That means I can listen to my music when I want to, and I don't have to carry 20 or 30 CDs to give me that kind of flexibility. So overall, if you're considering a Ford Transit Connect, or if you're considering a VW Caddy, 
I would suggest that you should test drive this vehicle before you decide. You will be very surprised and you will find that there are no compromises. There's 4.2 cubic meters of storage space, but it's real usable storage space. There's a superb cabin and it's a vehicle that you will enjoy driving. So test drive the NV200 before you make a decision to buy anything else. Thanks and we'll talk to you again.